Hi, I'm Miss Erica, and today's lesson is on adding two-digit numbers. First, let's do a quick review of adding one-digit numbers. Here we have 5 plus 3, illustrated by 5 dots plus 3 dots. When we add them together, we get 8. Here's one more, 9 plus 8. Again, we have 9 dots plus 8 dots, and that gives us 17 dots, so our sum is 17. Now when you start to add two-digit numbers, it becomes a bit more difficult to add by drawing dots. For example, if you do 34 plus 25, you have to draw 59 dots to get your answer. That takes a lot of time and energy. So let's look for an easier way to do this kind of problem. One way to make the problem easier is to pick a symbol to show a group of dots. For this lesson, I will use a box like this to show a group of 10. Since the box is the same as a group of 10 dots, we will call it a 10 box. So every time we have a group of 10 dots, we will replace it with a 10 box. So if we want to show the number 40, we can draw 40 dots or we can use the shortcut and simply draw four 10 boxes. Now count by tens and we have 10, 20, 30, 40. Let's practice that a couple more times. To show the number 17, we could draw 17 separate dots, or we can replace our group of 10 with a 10 box. And we have seven left over. Since there are only seven dots in that group, we can't replace it with a 10 box. So we have one 10 box and seven dots, a total of 17. Let's try that with the number 63. We could draw 63 separate dots, or we can replace each group of 10 with a 10 box. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And we have three left over, so we have six tens and three dots, a total of 63. Now let's go back to our equation. We want to find the sum of 34 and 25. In the number 34, we have three tens, so we draw three ten boxes. And we have four ones, so we draw four dots. Now in the number 25, we have two tens. So we draw two 10 boxes. And we have five ones, so we draw five dots. When we add two digit numbers, we always add our ones first. So let's count up the total number of dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine dots, so we write a nine. And now we count up our number of tens. One, two, three, four, five. We have five tens, so we write a five. And that gives us our sum, 59. Now let's look at another way to solve the same problem. Again, we want to add 34 and 25. So let's create a chart with two columns. The first column shows tens, and the second column shows ones. In the number 34, we have three tens, so we write a three in the tens column. And in the number 34, we have four ones, so we write a four in the ones column. Now in the number 25, we have two tens, so we write a two in our tens column, and we have five ones, so we write a five in our ones column. Remember, we should always add our ones first. If you have trouble remembering that, try using this rhyme. First you add the ones, they're on the right you know, then you add the tens, and on and on you go. So let's add the numbers in the ones column. Four plus five equals nine. So we write 9. Now we add the numbers in our tens column. 3 plus 2 is 5. So we write a 5. 
and that gives us our sum, 59. Let's try another problem and use both ways to solve it. Here we are doing 43 plus 31. Let's start with the illustration method that uses boxes and dots. In the number 43, we have four tens. So we draw four ten boxes. And we have three ones, so we draw three dots. Now in the number 31, we have three tens, so we draw three ten boxes. And we only have one one, so we draw one dot. Now let's count up the total number of dots. One, two, three, four. So we write a four. And now we count up the number of ten boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We write a seven. Do you see our sum? 74. Now let's try the same problem using the chart method. We create our chart and we add the numbers. In the number 43 we have four tens and we have three ones and in the number 31 we have three tens and we have one one. Now remember, first you add the ones, they're on the right you know, then you add the tens, and on and on you go. So we add our ones column, 3 plus 1 equals 4, we write a 4, and then we add our tens, 4 plus 3 is 7. So we write 7, and that gives us our sum, 74. Here are some problems you can practice on your own. If you are having trouble with the chart method, you can try illustrating the problems with boxes and dots. But as you move on to more difficult problems, the chart method will be the quickest and easiest for you to use. So just keep practicing until it feels easy.